Okay, so we're up to 11.9, which is capacity. So when we're talking about capacity, um, we are talking about how much liquid or gas that a container can hold. Okay, so capacity specifically relates only to liquid or gas. Um, the basic unit used to measure capacity is the litre, which equals a thousand cubic centimetres. So one litre equals a thousand cubic centimetres. Other units that you will use to measure capacity are millilitres, kilolitres and megalitres. Alright, so now capacity and volume are related to each other. So you may need to find the volume of something before you can find the capacity. So volume tells us how much space the object can, can hold or can contain. Um, while well, capacity specifically relates to how much liquid or gas that is. So you might um, have a container that's a thousand that can hold a thousand cubic centimeters, um, then that's the volume, okay? So then when you're trying to find the capacity, so how much liquid or gas it will contain, which is measured in liters, milliliters, megaliters, kiloliters, so you need to convert from cubic centimeters to whatever, the litres or millilitres, megalitres, whatever you're trying to find, okay? So um, that's how volume and capacity relate to each other. Now, when you're looking at this, the, you really need to remember a lot of different measurements and what they equal. So, for example, we've got one cubic centimetre equals one millilitre, and one cubic meter equals one kiloliter, which is a thousand liters. Okay, so you can see this picture over here of the milk container. It's actually the volume of it is a thousand cubic centimeters, and the capacity of it is one thousand milliliters, which is one liter. So it's just a different way of writing it um, because we need to show the um, capacity in the liquid if we're measuring the liquids. All right, so when we're working with capacity, you need to remember this information as well. Okay, so you will need to use this to convert um, from one capacity to another. You will um, also need to know this to work with the textbook that we are using. So you need to know that one litre equals a thousand milliliters. One kiloliter is a thousand liters. One megaliter is a thousand kiloliters. Okay? And so remember when we were measuring um, converting lengths, you multiply, when you multiply, um, you're making the you're multiplying from the larger unit to the smaller unit. And then when you are dividing, you are moving from the smaller units to the bigger units. You remember multiply right, divide left when we are working with these things. So you need to make sure that you write this down in your book and you refer to this when we are doing the activity. All right, so you may be asked to convert to the unit shown shown in brackets. Now this is like what we did with length. Um, so you need to convert from 500 milliliters to liters. All right. So that's when we refer to our diagram. So converting from milliliters to liters. So we're going from a smaller to a larger unit. So we divide, divide by a thousand. Now capacity is pretty easy. You just need to remember that every unit converts by a thousand. However, you need to make sure that you remember that. You go millilitres to litres, litres to kiloliters, and kiloliters to megalitres. All right, so let's do this. So we need to convert 500 millilitres. So that equals, we have to divide 500 by 1,000. Okay, so remember, when we're dividing, we go left. So we have to move the decimal point left. One, two, three. Three decimal places, so that would equal 
0 0.5 litres. So 500 millilitres is 0 0.5 litres, which is half a litre. Okay, you probably know that from working with milk. All right, so the next one is megalitres. Now, this is a bit tricky. See how it's got a big M and a big L? This means megalitres, whereas the little m and the big L means millilitres, okay? So make sure you are not confused. You really need to pay attention to the size of the m, and that will tell you whether we're working with megalitres or millilitres. So in this case, it's megalitres, so we're converting from the larger one to the smaller one, which means we multiply. So we've got the megalitres here to the litres. Now, remember we did this with length. We're converting from megalitres to litres, but we're, sk we're skipping the kilolitres. So we're going from megalitres to kilolitres to litres. So we have to make sure we add six zeros when we are multiplying. Okay, so three megalitres equals three times one with six zeros. Right, which equals a million. So three megalitres equals three million litres. And there's a litres there. Okay, so pretty easy, but you need to make sure that when you are converting and skipping a unit that you actually add all those zeros together. Okay. Now let's have a look at a bit of a more complex example where you need a couple of different steps to work out the answer for this one. So you'll be asked to find the capacity of, of containers in litres. Now the measurements though are in centimetres so you're going to actually need to use your knowledge of volume and capacity relationships which is this stuff here and then you're also going to then convert that to the units, you know, to change from one unit to another. Okay, so there's two different steps in this. So you need to really make sure that you go over this, not just watch it once, but just go over it a couple of times so that you understand what to do. So first of all, we actually need to find the volume of this container. And we know that the volume is length times width times height from our previous topics. So we need to work out the volume first. So length is 12 centimetres, the width is 5 centimetres and the height is 8 centimetres. 5 times 60 is 60 times 8 is 480 and that's 480 centimetres cubed. Alright so now we can see down here one centimetre cubed equals one milliliter. So, 480 centimetres cubed equals 480 milliliters. All right, now, but we have to write our answer in liters. So, we're not finished yet. We have to convert from, mega, from milliliters to liters. Okay, and to do that, we need to divide by a thousand. So, now 480 milliliters equals 480 divided by 1000. So remember, divide left, one, two, three, so our decimal place. in front of the 4, so it's four, 0.480 litres and we finally worked out the capacity of that container in litres. Okay now it's your turn, I want you to convert these units to the units shown in brackets, making sure that you are using this diagram to help you. Please pause the video and do that.
Okay, so now we need to work out what 0 0.5 kilolitres is in litres. So 0 0.5 kilolitres equals 0 0.5 times 1,000. So I can see here, kilolitres to litres, you times by 1,000. All right, and we multiply right. So you're moving the decimal place right in the number of zeros, which is three. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this down here. 0 0.5, and I gotta move this decimal point three. One, two, three, so I'm gonna put little zeros in there. So I've moved the decimal point now to here. So it's 500 litres. So 0 0.5 kilolitres is 500 litres. Alright, because we know that it's a thousand um, litres in a kilolitre. Alright, there we go. So next one, I hope you've paused the video to do this one. Right, 0 0.257 litres equals, now converting it to millilitres. Now we know it's millilitres because it's got a little m. So 0 0.257 litres to millilitres, so we're converting, we need to multiply by 1,000. 0 0.257 times 1,000. You multiply right. One, two, three. So we're moving the decimal place after the seven. So the answer is 257 milliliters. All right, hopefully you got those answers correct. This one now, remember we had to do multiple steps for this so you need to find the capacity of this container in litres try and do this yourself by pausing the video to work it out all right remember first time first of all we had to find the volume all right so volume equals length times width times height So the length is 9, width is 6, and 3. So that equals 162 centimetres cubed. And so remember, 1 centimetre cubed equals 1 millilitre. So 162 centimetres cubed equals 162 millilitres. But we have to write the answer in litres. So to convert from millilitres to litres, we divide by a thousand. So 162 millilitres equals 162 divided by a thousand. Divide left. One, two, three equals 0 0.162 litres. Alright, and then we should write our therefore somewhere. I can't really fit it on here. For it's 0 0.162 litres is the capacity of this container in litres. Alright, good luck. You need to go over this a few times because it's a little bit complex. So hopefully you can be successful in your um, exercises.